hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i decided that i really 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 need to clean my hair tools so that's what we're going to be doing today because i'm not gonna hold you some of these tools in here i've never cleaned before and it has a lot of hair a lot of gunk a lot of edge control gel it just looks nasty and i kind of feel like the reason why my hair flakes when I put my edge control on is because I have old gel and hair and gunk in it. So I decided that today I'm gonna take you guys with me to clean my hair tools. So let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna be cleaning today. So I have a lot of hair tools, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you each one so you can see how dirty they are. So first, here goes my edge brush. And as you can see, that's hair, that's edge control. Like the brush, the bristles don't even move. They're stuck together. Like that's this nasty. And here goes the other side. And I bought this probably like two months ago and have not washed it or cleaned it. Here goes a soft bristle brush that I use. I barely use, so it's not that dirty, but you can still see there's some hair. There's some flakes in it. Okay, here goes two rat tail combs that I use. And I usually use these when I'm braiding or if I'm doing like a twist out, braid out type and I wanna comb it and make sure all the knots are out. These is what I use. And as you can tell, I do not take the hair out. Why? I don't know. But yeah, this is what these two are looking like. And please don't judge me. I know it's nasty, but we're gonna get to it today. So here goes these two. And these two brushes is the ones that I use the most for my slick bags. These are two hard bristle brushes. This is what gets my hair super sleek and would have no um, bumps in it. And I did wash these two before, probably like one time, but I had these for over like two years and I only washed them one time. They don't look that bad because I do actually use a comb and get in there to try to get all the um, hair out. So they don't look that bad, but they still need to get washed. I also have another um, edge brush because I lose these so fast. So if I'm at the store, I'll usually pick one up. And this one, I really don't like this one because I can't really use the comb because the bristles are so tight, like put together. So I really don't use this. I usually use the brush part, but I had this for probably like six months, have not washed it. And when I tell you, damn. It was not moving. But when I tell you it is a whole bunch of gunk, hair, and stuff in here, like, it is so disgusting. Look at that. Tuh. That's embarrassing. That is a, that is embarrassing. This is the comb slash brush that I use in the shower with the tangle on my hand when I have um deep conditioner in or just conditioner in. And I usually, every time I wash my hair, I will run this under hot water while I'm in the shower and take the hair out. So this is from the last time I brushed my hair, which was about two weeks ago. And before I had put my hair in these braids, and I don't think I've ever washed this before. And lastly, here is this baby brush. And I only use this when I blow out my hair and I wanna, you know what I'm saying, brush it out. And I've had this for probably about a month, month and a half, and have not washed this. Those are all the tools that I'm going to be cleaning today. And I seen this girl on TikTok clean her hair tools, and she boiled the water and then put her tools in it. And I seen like all the gunk, all the hair inside the bristles like come up faster. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm also going to be putting in shampoo. I'm going to use my Head & Shoulders shampoo, and I'm going to be using apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to put that inside the water and place my tools in this bucket that I put all my tools in and I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm going to take all the hair out and show you guys what they are looking like so let's go boil some water So I just got done boiling my water and now I'm going to put in this Suave 
daily clarifying shampoo and i'm also going to be putting in this apple cider vinegar and i was going to put my um head and shoulders but i just realized i ran out of head and shoulders so i'm just going to be using these two products put them in the bucket and then place my tools in the bucket Twenty minutes later.
Okay, so I just got done washing and deep cleaning my hair tools and I'm gonna show you the after what they look like. But first, I'm gonna show you all the hair that was in all of the tools combined. And this is all of the hair, the gunk that was embedded in between the strands. And yeah. And obviously all of this isn't mine, but it's still nasty that I was still using these products when it had hair in it. So I am so glad I got this deep clean and I'm most definitely going to be doing this more often. Okay, so now let's get into the tools and what they look like after. So here goes the black lat tail comb. And as you saw in the first clip that it had a whole bunch of hair and gunk in it, now it's nice and clean. Here is the other rat tail comb. I honestly think I'm gonna throw this away because I used the black one more than this one. But yeah, here goes the after of the orange one. Here goes my edge brush. And remember how much gunk was in the bristles and in the comb. And here what it looks like now. It looks like a brand new brush that I just bought. Bristles can easily move. I am so excited to use this. And here goes the other edge brush. And as you saw in the first cup, I couldn't even move the bristles for real. I was forcefully pushing down and these could easily move as well. Here goes one of my hard bristle brushes. And when I put this in the boiling water and took it out, I think the outside layer, whatever they put on the outside layer was peeling off. So that's what you see around the brush. I honestly think I might throw this away and buy me another one. Here goes the other hard bristle brush. Here goes the brown soft bristle brush. Here goes my detangling brush that I use in the shower. And here goes my baby brush that I use for my blowouts. So yeah, that's all of my tools that I deep cleaned today. And I am so, so, so happy that I did that because I feel like I won't get as much flakes as you can see on my edges. And I'm so excited to take these out and use my hair tools. So that's all that I have for this video. But before I end the video, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much on the love that you guys gave me on my previous video of my Shein haul. I, got, I gained six subscribers off that video. That might not seem a lot to y'all, but it is so much to me because I have not told anybody that I have a YouTube channel and that I actually post these videos that I film because my family know that I film videos, but they don't know that I actually post them on YouTube. So the fact that you guys are subscribing and commenting and liking my video means so, so much. And I just wanted to say thank you. But yeah, that's all that I have for this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.